Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Lurkless Me WL. As you can see, I have a little new setup going on. Uh, I hope you guys like it. I'm hoping the lighting is better too because my friend helped me out. And I'm really thankful for that, so thanks gal. So, this is not going to be my final new setup. I just have to do a little bit here and there. But, I hope you guys like it so far. So, if you like it, <laughs> let me know. And today, we have like kind of like a fun... Um, candy makeup tutorial, Halloween tutorial. I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet. So I'm gonna post a picture up on Instagram and let people choose the name for this tutorial. And whatever I chose will be the one that's up there. And yeah, saying that, this one's gonna be a little bit easier and a little bit more fun. So I hope you guys like it and let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so we're starting with our complexion already on and using the 35B palette from Morphe, going in with the blue and just creating a cut crease. Really not that neat, but just a fun cut crease look. And then we're going to use a light blue and then going in with a little bit more of a bright blue and a dense brush and just filling the, what am I saying, just applying it on the crease. <laughs> Next we're using the Makeup Forever Flash Palette as a cream base just to cut the crease. And we're using the pink as you can see and all the products will be listed down below just so you guys know. And after that I'm just making sure I cut the crease again and we're padding, padding it in on the eyes to make sure this all sets because it is a cream and it can crease very easily on the lids. Next, we're going to go ahead and fill in the brows with the ABH Lip Palette. I'm just filling it in the way I would normally. And then we're going ahead and using this green lip liner as an eyeliner and yeah, we're just applying it and tight lighting the eyes. And then we're using another green shadow from the same palette and just smoking it out. I use two different greens just to get a gradient effect. After that, we're moving on to the actual face. So I'm using purple to contour and I'm really going in harshly with this just so when we put the candy on, it'll still show through. And I'm just dabbing it on the forehead and basically doing a three. So forehead, jawline, nose, and of course my cheekbones. And using the same purple and just blending it into the eyes just to add a little bit of dimension. After that, we're going to go ahead and highlight. We're using the Unicorn Highlight from Fenty and I'm blending it in. I wish to use a brush. I feel like it would apply better, but that's totally fine. And then we're just blending it in and using the Moon Child just for a little bit of an added touch. And I applied a little too much, so I went ahead and reduced it a little bit later. After that, we're going in with candy. So I have little three different candies. Basically, I'm using candies that are wrapped, sprinkled, these jujube thingies, and also Smarties, which I'll put on later. Here I'm struggling with the sprinkles, and I'm like, oh, this is going to take forever. You guys are going to see my struggles. Like It just keeps falling off. I use lash glue for the brows, and I use spirit glue for the face. So it took me a long time, but eventually I got it. There we go. And now we're going to do the face. So here I put sprinkles randomly and then kind of just attach the candy however I like. I did it with the lash glue first. It didn't really work on the face. So I had, went ahead, sorry, and used the spirit glue. So this you can find at any Spirit Halloween. It's really cheap. It's like $8 and it works really, really well. You just apply it and let it get tacky. And once you feel the stickiness, you just apply it. And as you can see, it literally just sticks, doesn't even fall off. After that, I'm just going ahead and literally just doing it however you'd like. I wish I got different size candies, but I did it. And we're going for the lip. So now I'm just lining my lip with, again, a Kat Von D lip liner. And then we're just going to go ahead and apply that purple. The lipstick actually feels so comfortable on the lip and looks super matte, which I loved. And then that is the final look. I am a liar. We're going to add more candy on the neck just because I felt like it looked kind of boring. And there we go. That is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.